Switching gears and the country's health services could be crippled should the doctors make good on their strike threat. Well, the doctors' union, KMPDU, says it will stage a procession on Monday to the Ministry of Health headquarters, Afia House, and the National Treasury, where they will issue a seven-day strike notice. Now, in the meantime, KMPDU Secretary General Dr. Atela Davji accused the police of a deliberate attempt to eliminate him, saying the shot left him with a cracked skull and brain hemorrhage. Now, the the Law Society of Kenya has joined their voice to condemn the attack, terming it as a drawback on the constitutional right to picket. Mary Morkey reports. Lying on his hospital bed, the Secretary General of the Kenya Medical Practitioners, Pharmacist and Dentist Union Dr. Dav Giatella recounted how he found himself on the wrong side of the barrel that fired the tear gas canister that sent him straight to a hospital. To release the letters. He was on the front line as doctors demonstrated to protest over delays in hiring of medical interns when suddenly he was hit at close range by a tear gas canister. The unionist says it was a deliberate attempt to muzzle him. This police was already targeting me when I was doing this position because they pointed at me and then shot. So it's, it's a clear attempt of assassination. It's a clear attempt of eliminating me from the position that we are having. Uh, from this, I got a uh, picture of hematoma. I got a kernel fracture. And I've been in the HDU for now the third day. So essentially, it is very important, but there's no way a peaceful procession should be met with uh, such a force. Until the IG prosecutes the rogue officer, Kempidu will not and shall not treat any member of the National Police Service. For the officer who shot Davji, we won't treat him. On Sunday, the Law Society of Kenya paid him a visit before addressing a media briefing to condemn the attack. LSK president-elect Faith Odiambo cautioned the government against returning the country to the dark days when citizens could not question or challenge the government and asked the inspector general of police to institute prosecution against the police officer who fired the shot at close range. Here today we see a situation where um, the, the SG was shot directly at um, by one of the police officers. We are not allowing excuses. And it's quite clear from that video footage that we have seen, seen that it was a direct aim at him. And so to say that it's an accident is unacceptable. We cannot have rogue police officers trying to take the law into their hands. We are in a different dispensation. The Constitution allows people to come together, peacefully picket, and articulate the concerns that they have. The medics have said they will hold demonstrations tomorrow and lead a procession to the National Treasury and Interior Ministry where they will issue a seven-day strike notice. They have threatened to cripple services in both public and private hospitals in a nationwide strike until the Ministry of Health posts medical interns and remits school fees for postgraduate students taking specialized courses. We have uh, begun our go slow, began on Saturday. And uh, come tomorrow after the demo, we'll give a seven-day national strike notice. Not only to show our displeasure around how the SG has been treated, but also to compel the government to pay the school fees for the doctors in school and post the interns. Because those are the reasons why we went out. The Kenya National Union of Nurses Secretary General Seth Panyako has also announced that nurses across the country will join the expected doctor's strike if those responsible for the shooting of KMPDU Secretary General Dav Giatella will not be arrested. Mary Mwaki, Citizen TV.